What is up everyone? My name is SD Mike. I've been out of commission so far this year because I've been sick. I apologize for disappearing, but I'm back, ready to go. And I'm here with something awesome for you guys that you have all requested multiple times. So one of the most successful videos of last year that I did on this channel was a free editing software review over the program Lightworks. So today I want to dive into Lightworks and show you guys the introduction to Lightworks and how to get started because a lot of you guys were interested in it but couldn't figure out how to make it work. So today, me and Nora, today we're just gonna go over how to create your video and export it and have a finished product to upload to YouTube. Now again, there are plenty of other free editing software options out there for you guys, but this is my personal favorite and it's very powerful in my opinion and it's very similar to my favorite paid software which is Premiere. So that's one of the reasons why I connected with it so much. So guys, this is Lightworks. When you first boot it up, it's gonna look like this with your projects browser. You're gonna create a new project and title it whatever you desire. So let's title this Freedom Test. You pick your frame rate. I'm gonna do 60 frames a second because that's what I've been testing and playing around with lately. You click create and now you pick where your files are located. So you go in, select your folder of choice and I'll use yesterday's folder from yesterday's vlog and then you click import. As you can see here, it starts analyzing all of your clips and importing them into the project. And now you have a bin down here in the corner where you could see all the files that you recorded for that particular video. Next, we're gonna create a new edit by clicking this button right here. So click create a new edit, and now you have a timeline where you can start importing your clips and actually see the project come alive. So here on the left, this is your preview screen. So if you double click on your clip, you can see it pop up into your preview screen. You could scrub through it and see what is going on inside the clip and you can get an idea of what each clip is. So now there's two ways you can go about editing it. You're gonna go into your clip and select the in and out point of your clip that you want to import into the project. This will be for filmmakers or commercial advertisers, comedy sketch people, stuff like that. Not necessarily gameplay or vlogging. I think that's a different style of editing. So if you're doing the first style of editing where you require in and out points, you will click I for where you want it to start scroll to where you want it to end and click O. Now you have two options here, replace into target edit and insert into target edit. In the beginning, when there's no clips down here, it doesn't really matter, you just need to get it into your timeline. But the difference is one of them will overwrite the video, whereas the other one will expand the video and push it in between the first clip and the second clip. So I'll give you a quick example of that. We're gonna import this three times, or five times for that matter. <laughs> so if you go down here and I wanna put it in the middle, if I click the insert and overwrite button, or replace button rather, it will just put it on top. Or if I click my second option, insert into target edit, you'll see it scoots everything down. So that's the two different ways you can go about inserting your clips into your timeline. There's a second method, which I prefer for what I do and you would probably prefer as well for gaming. And that is to click all of the clips that you want to incorporate inside of your project, highlight them all and drag them into your project. So now you can see they're color coordinated clips. Each clip has their own colors, so you can easily determine what is what, and you can go through and start editing out the dull moments, the spots you don't want, the boring spots or the mess ups or anything like that. So as far as timeline editing, there's two things that you need to know. It's very simple. To zoom in, hold down control and wheel up, and now you can start zooming in on your project and then to edit out dull moments that you don't want or areas that you didn't think were relevant, you simply go on your slider here, hover over the area that you messed up or you don't want, click I, scroll to the spot where it ends and click O, and then click delete. And it's gonna delete that section and smash all the clips together so you don't have to go and rearrange and drag them all to the beginning. It snaps it all together. Another option to get rid of clips entirely is just to click the clip and drag it to an empty area of the project and let go. And it deletes an empty spot in the video here. Now you do have to go in and smash that down. You can either drag it all down, like I mentioned earlier, or you can go and click I and O and then delete and it will smash it down. So down here in the corner, you have effects where you can apply effects to your clip 
like dissolve or wipes or transitions. And then in the advanced tab, you have a spot where you could change the speed of the video. So you could speed it up so you sound like a chipmunk or you can slow it down and make super crazy slow motion clips. Now let's say you wanna add titles or color correction or different things that you can't do here in the timeline itself. You simply click on it, right click, and now you have a new menu. You have add effects where you can do color, you can do map boxes, titles, vignettes, different things like that. You can click add tracks, add the number of tracks that you're gonna be working on. Let's say for gameplay, you have your face cam, you have your gameplay, you have your overlays, you have whatever else. So let's do four. You click add, now you have four other tracks that you can add other video clips to. And you can start to layer them up on top of one another and it stacks very nicely. And as you can see, it's quite snappy and responsive as well. So let's say you want to add a title to the video. You simply click on the clip where you want it to be and then click add and then click titles. Here you can add whatever text you want. Pick the type of text, the color position, the drop shadow, outline, what effects you want. So if you want it to fade in and fade out, so there's that. Go ahead and put that up here in the corner and we'll change the size so it's just a little bit more noticeable. So now when you play this clip, you can see the text fades in and then after the clip is over, it fades out. Now let's say you wanna color correct a clip, you simply right click the clip, click add, go to color correction and you can go into here, start playing with the shadows, the mid-tones, the highlights, the curves, which are my personal favorite. You have a lot of control over everything in here simply by the curves. Now everything's done, I have our titles, it's color corrected, the video is chopped out, we have all of our different layers and everything, everything's good to go. So the final step is to export the video. You click export edits, clips, or bins. Select your frame rate, the size, which again, if you want 1080p or higher, which you can go up to 2K it looks like, you have to pay for the pro edition. You can actually upload directly to YouTube or you can just export it to your hard drive, which is my personal choice. So once you're ready, you click start and the background task has started. So up here at the top, you can see the progress and it starts rendering through the whole entire video. And as you can see, it's actually moving quite quickly. This is a free program and it's moving pretty much in real time with the clips, which is awesome. So I just went outside and played in the snow with Nora for like 10, 15 minutes. And now the vlog is done rendering. As you can see here, we have the video, titles included, color corrected clips all there, and it's all ready to go. Now we did have a little bit of quality loss since we recorded down at 720p, but like I said before, being a free software at 720p and have that much power for that many different video layers, I think it's a really credible and really powerful program. There's no reason to do watermarked video. There's no reason to do anything like that when you have something like that at its disposal. Now, if you want more in-depth tutorials, if you'd like to know anything in particular, you could either ask me down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it, or you could search other tutorials from Lightworks because there's a lot of great tutorials out there that actually taught me myself. So if you want me to help you out in particular, ask me and I'll do my best to find out how to do it. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed this. It's a little bit different, but I had it requested, so I figured I might as well give back to the community and do what I can this year. So I hope you all had an amazing 2015, and I hope you all have an even better 2016. Here's to having a great solid year. Again, I'm Zesty Mike. If you want to find more of me, click the cards up at the top or the links down in the description below. And if you want to see all of my tips and tricks, you can click the cards up at the top as well. But anyways, guys, that's it and we'll see you next time. See ya. Nora, that you're not helping, dear. I appreciate your input, but I feel like I know just a little bit more about Lightworks than you. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.